All right, ladies and gentlemen, first off, I want to give a shout out to the Pistons 313 shop, man. I, I'm, I, oh, I'm excited, bro. I'm adding pieces finally to my collection, you know what I'm saying? Getting the palace the way, you know what I'm saying, I want it to be. And if you are not a part of the palace, make sure y'all join, man. Become a player in the palace. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Share it with people. Share it with your loved ones, you know what I'm saying? Share the channel. I got I got a little bit of everything for everybody, man. I got a lot of content in all different directions coming along, bro. So make sure y'all follow along in the journey, man, because we're we're definitely moving. We're definitely on to big things. But let's get into the video. I the Detroit Lions have very much uh, made me disappointed, bro. I, I'm I'm very mad about this game. Yeah, we 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 lost twenty to twenty six, but the majority of this game was bad. The first half was god awful. We were shut out. Well, we couldn't stop Najee Harris. A lot of blown tackles. Shout out to um, Jelani Tavai, bro. It, it, I don't even know what to say about Tavai, bro. I really don't. We were getting beat. Okuda got beat deep. Although he recovered, um, and I believe in the second quarter to save a touchdown against um, Juju Smith-Schuster. It, look, it looked like a regular game, to be honest. Jared Goff didn't, he looked worse than he did the last game. Amon Ross St. Brown didn't do so hot. He had five targets, though. I'm very intrigued about that. He had five targets, but he only caught two of those passes. One, pa one pass... It was catchable. He 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 dove for the ball, but he saw Minka Fitzpatrick coming, so I think he got a little scared and dropped the ball. Cause it, that was gonna be the second defender on him, but it is what it is. He's a rookie. I'm not necessarily mad about it. I just want my lines to do better, bro. I really want my Detroit Lions to do better. I want our Detroit Lions to do better. I just don't feel like they brought it this game. But Derek Barnes? That man Derek Barnes is who we all thought he was. And he is playing like such. He has been very consistent for us. He got a sack. I believe again it was against uh Haskins, I believe. Mason Rudolph, I don't remember. Um Yeah, but the coverages were a little off. You know, but it's preseason. Like I'm being very critical because I expect nothing but the best out of Detroit. I really want us to succeed at a higher level. I want us to strive for better because we've been in such mediocrity with Matt Patricia running the helm. And now we are finally here in a new, fresh-looking Detroit Lions team from head to toe, from front office to the football field to the janitorial staff. You know, the Lions feels different. And I'm very appreciative of this, definitely. Don't mind me. I'm actually watching Edge versus Seth Rollins right now. This is a really good match. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's a lot of things I could say, bro. But I'm going to stop. I, I got to stop being so critical about the Lions. You know, it's a brand new team. Remember, they're still building the identity. They're still trying to get the chemistry together. They're still trying to make things right. We played better against the Bills. You know, it is what it is. It was preseason game number one. This is preseason game number two, and we got one more game left. Um, I just, I just want to come give my little piece on that. But man, my MVP for the day, yeah, Derek Barnes, the man. He looks good. Uh, TK, he looked good too. You know, he he's been more consistent. Uh, yeah, the things that. Oh, and shout out to my boy Craig Reynolds he got another touchdown he's playing very consistent Craig Reynolds had five carries for 29 yards he averaged 5.8 uh yards per carry so it, it was dope it was really dope uh Jamar Jefferson had three attempts for 22 yards you know Jamar looked good too he did but hey Craig Reynolds is look he he's looking good, bro. He's looking really good. Now, granted, it is preseason and he's playing against preseason teams. However, Craig Reynolds, I feel, deserves a roster spot. See, this is tough. It really is tough. We got Jamal Williams. We got DeAndre uh, Swift. That number three back is where it gets iffy. It could be Jamar. It could be Craig. Hmm. But if we are to keep four running backs on the team, then I feel like that's what we're that's what it needs to be. Jamar Jefferson and Craig Reynolds. 
Uh, Mills, he looked okay. He didn't he didn't look too hot this game. But it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to the Steelers defense. The Steelers defense did amazing. Um, offense, Steelers, Big Ben, he, he kind of looked cool, you know? But granted, like I said, it's the Detroit Lions defense. So <laughs> I, it's not much I can really sell, um, say other than that. But keep in mind, Eric Ebron, Detroit Lions uh, legend, quote unquote. Don't be surprised if he gets benched because Eric Ebron, he was dropping some passes and it did not look good at all. It did not. It did not look good. Like Ebron should have had a few good ones, but that Fryermuth, Pat Fryermuth, that's who I want fantasy. That's gonna be my. That's that's who I want my fantasy tight end to be. He looked good. He had two touchdowns against us in the first half. Fryermuth looks good, and Ben Roethlisberger was so comfortable passing it to him. And the commenter, uh, the commentators were saying how Big Ben was so accustomed to having his safety net in Heath Miller. Now you got Baby Gronk. Cause I forgot this is the guy that he was calling Baby Gronk. I completely forgot about him. So Steelers fans, uh, hope you know, keep an eye out for Fryermuth. If he looked good, man. Um, hopefully DeAndre Swift comes back. Hopefully he comes back 100%. So that way we can get that first thousand yard rushing season. <laughs> Man, all we can do is pray, bro. But it's not much else to really talk about. You know, saying it was a preseason game. We got one more and the regular season is in a few weeks or a couple of weeks. I think a couple of weeks. So let me know what y'all was thinking about the game in the comments section because I was I was watching the game and I'm watching SummerSlam at the same time. So if I miss something, let me know. And if you're new to the channel, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Share it with your loved ones. Like I said, I got gaming content. I got a whole bunch of Tom Boolery, man. Whatever you want, whatever you need, I'll provide it. Let me know in the comments section what other content you want me to put on. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace out.